What's going on YouTube? Come back at you with another video. So if you've been paying any attention to Jay Prince's Instagram, you'll know he's been posting conversations with Larry Hoover. Now he's got a conversation up with Wayne Perry. The conversation is not between Jay Prince and Wayne Perry, however. I'm not sure who is on the phone, but Jay Prince's name is mentioned, so he's responding and reacting to this conversation. This is an old conversation, I, I believe. It's interesting, though. The majority of what Wayne Perry is speaking about is based around Larry Hoover. Um, he says some very interesting things. I'll let you hear some bits and pieces. If you want to see the full clip, the full clips, you can go check out um, Jay Prince's Instagram. Find it there. But the first part, he's talking about how... Um, you know, they were removed out of solitary confinement. Finally, Larry Hoover had been in solitary since 1997. And I guess a few years ago, they finally were moved out of solitary. They were able to connect him and Jeff Fort at the ADX facility, have lunch together. So Larry Hoover is not completely solitary and isolated, you know, as I had initially thought. But he still remains held against his will, obviously, in this situation. So let's check out this clip he's talking about, um, you know, them getting a blessing, being able to connect and get out of solitary. No man made it to a chef down, huh? Yeah, yeah. There were no four had to sit down for lunch. Yeah, yeah, that's why I knew they they, they, they in there together, right? Mm hmm Yeah, that's a blessing. That's a blessing. Hopefully that... Okay, so the next clip, he's talking about how they railroaded Larry Hoover and why he feels like Larry Hoover was railroaded. Basically, he's saying that Larry Hoover wields political power. And that being the case, the system doesn't want to see him free. Let's listen to what he was saying. You ain't giving it all this other time just so he can't make it to the free world. Because they don't be scared of him because he got a little political power now. Because about him being conscious, that means that he can you know, sway the people towards a vote. And that's what they don't want, you know? Okay, so let's check out this other part he's talking about as well. He's This is interesting. He's talking about these kids nowadays acting like they wouldn't respect Larry Hoover if he came out anyway. Let's check it out. That's, that's dumb stuff. That's what they want people to believe. You know what I mean? And then you got these ignorant youngsters out there that they'll be talking about, yeah, if he came home, what they'll do to him? You know, this and that. That's stupid if they didn't talk like that. It was a, once upon a time, they couldn't have got away with that. You know what I mean? They couldn't get away with that being around nobody like myself and I wouldn't I wouldn't accept it you know what I mean yeah I've, I've heard that a lot actually out here people saying if Larry Hoover came out it wouldn't matter anyway because ain't nobody gonna respect it and I, it's kind of crazy that that's how far it's come these people are claiming to be a part of the organization that Larry Hoover founded but they're saying they're not even gonna respect him or his word which is crazy because Larry Hoover obviously is not on the destruction of his people he I'm, I'm assuming if he came out right now and based on a lot of the principles and the things that growth and development gangster disciples whatever you want to call it um was actually you know founded on a lot of these principles are just teaching you to be a good person how to be a good person they teach you about hygiene i'm not going to get into everything but they teach you a lot of different um things that a lot of people out here aren't able to learn that don't have fathers don't have that 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 ability there to get this kind of information so that's what it was based on was the betterment and now it's went so far left that people are saying they wouldn't even respect it so it's crazy the last little clip he's talking about was where he mentions jay prince and also um jay-z's name comes up let's check it out Always speaking about, I've always make a clear to him. I never met Jay. I don't know Jay. I've never met him. Right. But man, in, I know he's the most honorable joker as far as, you know, that life and all these jokers that look up to somebody expecting his music and all that. He the only one really worthy of that. You can't put that on Jay Z and all them other kids. They ain't worthy of that. You know what I mean? Slim is worthy of that. And, and they run it. Okay, so he's reacting. Um, Jay Prince is reacting. He said, this conversation's come from a brother doing a life sentence by the name of Wayne Sill Perry, whom I've never met, but I respect the words of truth that he's speaking. Some of the most brilliant minds in the world are locked in cages for life. 
It's going to take individuals, community members, crime survivors, elected officials, and law enforcement to make a change. I had the honor of attending a Cut 50 criminal justice reform meeting this week, and I was impressed with the movement and the love they have for freeing our loved ones out of the cages of hell. And then he asked those people, he says, are the people who spoke on the Cut 50 panel, and I encourage you all to follow their works because it's real. This is what growth and development is all about, uniting with a movement such as Cut 50. Now let's ride to be continued. So Jay Prince speaking on this Cut 50 movement, he's trying to get people involved. Um, criminal justice reform, definitely something worth looking into, checking out, seeing if you want to be a part of it. I definitely would say support Jay Prince and his efforts to do this um, big thing. But this is an interesting conversation. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I appreciate you watching. Like, subscribe, share. Leave some feedback, though. I definitely appreciate you. Peace.